So as you can see, we are a team of two here on the stage, and we would like to tell you about a new interdisciplinary program at the School of Health Sciences at the University of Iceland. My name is Fjóla Dögg Sigurðardóttir, and I'm a medical student in my fifth year of six. And I, am, I came into this project as a representative of students in health sciences. My name is Ole Bender. I'm a professor at the University of Iceland uh, and uh, within the School of Health Sciences and um, uh, within Faculty of Nursing. Um, I uh, have, uh, over the last four years, uh, directing uh, this interdisciplinary educational program at the U, but I've not been alone, since we are going to talk about teams here today. Uh, I've not been alone, and you can see on, on this slide that we are a, a good team there together. Actually, it's just one person lacking on, on this picture. It is a, a representative from the Faculty of Medicine, and, and we have a project manager with us there. And at this time, we didn't have a student. Um, but um, to begin, I would like to uh, share with you a little story. A story about a senior citizen here in Iceland um, who wrote an article in a, in a morning newspaper here last fall. And she was describing her experience with the healthcare system. And she said that um, uh, what patients presently are going through, they are running an endless road in the system. They are going from one service provider to another. They are going from one place to another. And she said, uh, I, I would like to uh, come up with an idea to improve this. And, and um, so she said, uh, why couldn't we uh, do this more efficiently? So you could maybe come on a one visit or two to many service providers, and they could collect the information about your health condition in a few visits, and you could have the tests maybe done at the same time. And, um, uh, and th then she said, they would be able to get a holistic view of my condition. Uh, also, she added, well, wouldn't it be more efficient this way and, and sort of save some time? And, and um, furthermore, in her final words, she said, um, then the patient would be the center of attention. I personally love this story because it showed to me um, the kinds of problems that real patients in our society are facing regarding healthcare. And I also loved it because it showed a certain core element of our model that we had been uh, developing. And you see up here, where you can see that the patient is a center of attention. What really captured me about this educational program um, for health science students, this interdisciplinary program, is actually linked to another set of training I had experienced before I started my medical training. You see, as a young kid, I was a music student. So I practiced my violin day after day, mostly to my siblings' terror in the beginning, until some years later, I was able to play a decent piece. And just like when you're starting to learn an instrument, in medicine we start off by learning the basic fundamentals and then we invest a lot of time in practicing our knowledge and techniques. So both like in music and medicine, you need to practice. Of course, you also need a good instructor to teach you how to hold your instruments right or to correct your technique so that when you are, as a professional, set on the stage of a job, you're able to perform your very best for the benefit of your patients. So both in music and in medicine, you need practice, and it's essential. Because after all, one does not become a really good violin player without practi practice, feedback, and encouragement to always reach further. But one of the things that I realized in my music studies, and I believe the same applies to healthcare, is that one of the most important, yet demanding tasks, is to be able to play well or work well with others. So uh, when we were developing this program, it actually consists of two courses. Uh, one of them is a theoretical course, but the other is a clinical. 
And this is uh, a course or, or courses that are offered to our graduate students at the university and, and within health sciences. Um, this um, uh, theoretical course is actually preparing uh, the students for working in a, a special health clinic. And uh, in, in that course, uh, they will learn about um, all sorts of uh, problems that can come up in teamwork. And, and they need to find out through that work, you know, how to solve these problems. Actually, when you are in a team and working with others, um, you can find yourself a little insecure. You also may not trust the next person. Even you may be a little bit unsure about yourself. So these elements you need to practice a little bit. So uh, it is important for the person to know their strengths, but also their weaknesses. So as you probably know yourself, working in a group or playing in an orchestra with others requires a bit of a different mindset than when you're practicing skills on your own. But one of the things that I was quick to realize was that, for example, playing in a student orchestra was one of the key places for me to assess and improve my own skills. Because when you play with others or when you work with others, you realize there might be some technique or knowledge that you could revisit or practice more. And it makes you more ambitious to become better for the benefit of the group. So in the clinic, uh, where the students have the possibility of uh, practicing working in teams, uh, which will be supervised by healthcare professionals, um, they uh, um, uh, are going to be there from eight disciplines. So there are students from eight disciplines that have this possibility of working together. And that is uh, from uh, uh, nursing, from uh, uh, midwifery, uh, medicine, pharmacology, dentistry, uh, uh, physiotherapy, psychology, and nutrition. And uh, so um, uh, when a patient comes to the clinic, uh, there is a possibility for him to meet uh, some from uh, this group. And, and uh, so together, what they can do is to uh, uh, assess his problems in a mutual way, and, and also um, they can make a healthcare plan uh, with the patient. Um, so this um, will actually, you know, help them uh, to become better healthcare professionals. Medicine is, of course, very different from my music studies, who only hurt my siblings' ears, maybe. But in, this, um, in a similar way, um, we need to practice our techniques. And the learning process is quite similar. It is all based on mastering skills and then using those skills to solve problems of our clients. But one of the things that I was quick to realize as my studies progressed and my fellow students realized this as well, both in medicine, nursing, and pharmacology, and we've talked about this in groups, is that we've never really had the opportunity to train or practice our knowledge and our techniques together as we would work as professionals in the future. So to put things into perspective, let's imagine that I'm actually uh, studying to become a professional violin player instead of a doctor. And I would, I would be practicing my music piece to play with the symphonic orchestra here in Harpa, but before stepping on stage on concert night, I would only have practiced the music piece with the other violins, but never with the whole orchestra. And we can ask ourselves, how would that sound? And would it matter how brilliant everyone was individually if we would then realize on stage with a full hall of audience that we were not able to play with the other instrument groups, that we weren't able to play in rhythm? Isn't it a bit too late to realize that on stage with the full audience, like here at TEDx now? And how, and most importantly, how would that sound to the ears of our audience? And wouldn't it sound much better if we would have had the opportunity to practice and train together? So why is teamwork important? Um, I would personally say, um, 
I have worked a long time uh, as a healthcare professional uh, in a contraceptive counseling clinic at the University of Iceland. And there I've had the opportunity to work with many healthcare professionals over the years. And um, in my work, I have consulted uh, psychologists, nurses, gynecologists, and social workers, for example. And um, I have started to question it. Is consultation the best way? Or should we be working in a different manner? I sort of feel like we have often been working sort of uh, parallel, sort of side by side, not actively together and not actively with the patient. So my ambition as a teacher at the university, I would like to see this come true for our students who will be the future service providers. While healthcare problems become more complex, we do need all the set of eyes that we can have. And maybe with uh, the increase of lifestyle related diseases, we've actually never been in greater need for teamwork than exactly now. To be able to uh, help people change their lifestyles effectively, for example, regarding obesity, studies show that there is a need for broad intervention from many different healthcare providers to be able to have long term impact. That is, from maybe different doctors, nurses, physiotherapists, psychologists, nutritionists, pharmacologists, and the list could probably go on. Two or more set of eyes always see better than one. It's as simple as that. And it's therefore that I'm very proud to be a part of a school, the University of Iceland, that has now decided to put that team training as part of our educational program as future healthcare professionals. So is teamwork important for our health care? Uh, or is it just the more the merrier? I wonder. Uh, anyway, when you, when you start to look at uh, some studies, they have indicated that uh, teamwork of service providers uh, can contribute, or, or I should rather say can reduce admissions and readmissions to hospital. It can make the service cost effective and can also contribute to quality of care. Quality of care really has to do with um, how the patient is feeling. So he may be feeling a little better and, and he may also be more content with the service as well as his safety may be better secured. Teamwork can actually prevent adverse events uh, from happening. And uh, adverse events which can at times uh, be very dramatic regarding people's lives. Additionally, teamwork, uh, it has been shown through studies that teamwork also is probably contributing to job satisfaction of service providers. So what I've been saying to you is that probably you have reached the conclusion that teamwork can make a difference. So the orchestra of healthcare providers, if we use that simile, also needs to have the opportunity to practice and learn together to, to be able to provide the best service that we can. And through this program, students in health sciences have the opportunity to practice, to communicate more clearly, to trust and respect each other's knowledge, and thus become more able to provide the best service we can to our patients. And it is the patient who should always be the center of attention. There is no one way of pro providing interdisciplinary education. Uh, we found it important here at the University of Iceland to start with more advanced students because they have collected more knowledge and skills uh, in their studies and they are therefore better able to provide the services at the clinic. Sort of reflecting on these four years of experience, I, uh, uh, I have found it very, very interesting. 
And, uh, but I know that when we are going to implement this program in the fall, we are going to meet many more challenges on our way. But I believe that with good teamwork, I think this is going to be a very empowering experience for everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.